What's going on guys, it is The Lone Courier here and I am here to talk to you guys about a bit more about Battalion 1944 because I was planning on making a video on this originally and I never got round to it because, well, I had a lot of stuff going on then. So, they've released a new trailer for the game and it is the final sprint trailer and it's talking about their final goals for the game. If, if you see I'm looking at the screen in front of me a bit more, it's because I've got the information up here. But yes... Um, the final sprint trailer has just came out and this is more focused on what their goals are with the game. You know, if they reach a certain point in money, they can maybe develop, you know, like, new characters, new weapons, a new map. Um, they have got a really big goal. There is one of them for, like, a million pounds, which is a single player campaign. A lot of people are going to be like, well, that's a bit ridiculous, that's too much money, but... It's not Activision or EA we're talking about here, this is a company that have just went, let's make a World War 2 game. You know, they don't have the infinite amounts of money that uh, Treyarch have when they want to make a new game. So, when you look at this game, you can't really think to yourself, wow, that doesn't really look too good. Because when it comes to games like Call of Duty, Activision have got endless amounts of money they can throw at Call of Duty each year. Like, literally endless amounts of money. And it's, this company are a really small company, like a lot of people won't have heard of Bulkhead Interactive, but they're planning on making this new World War 2 game, right? And what they want with the money is they're looking for certain donations, like they're looking for a certain price point of, hold on a second, they're wanting, well they've got a full time community manager, which is already funded, for £25,000 more, there's enhanced particle effects, which will make the game look a little bit better. And then after that, they've got a boot camp map, which looks pretty cool. And then for £300,000, they've got a competitive D-Day map, which would be fucking awesome. And then for above that, they've got the British forces join the fight, which means you'll be able to use iconic weapons, such as the Lee Enfield rifle, the Sten submachine gun. And obviously, you'll have a lot of cool British forces, skins and whatnot. And then for £25,000 more, they've got the more cosmetic unlocks, which will give you a lot more customization options for your character. And then above that, they've got the Russian army fights back, which means you'll have the Red Army involved in the game, which means you'll have iconic weapons such as PPSH-41 and the Mosin Nagant, or Mosin Nagant, I don't know how you want to pronounce that. For above that, they've got the offline behind the enemy lines mode, which is a wave-based survival mode. Which looks fucking awesome. There's just one thing I love in games, and it's wave-based survival modes. You know, like Zombies from Call of Duty, Horde mode from Gears of War, Firefight from Halo. I fucking love wave-based survival modes. For above that, they've got the Introducing the Pacific Theater, which will introduce a whole load more content, which will be more focused on the Americans fighting the Japanese, you know, other wars such as, like, an island such as Peleliu, uh, Okinawa islands such as that, you know, like basically like the program the Pacific, stuff like that. Or most of the American campaign in Call of Duty World at War, that was focused on the Pacific theater, which is fucking awesome because that was a really gritty kind of fighting right there, which is really cool. And for a million pounds, 200, 1 million, 1, 1. 1.2 million, I know it's a lot of money, but they'll be able to make a single player campaign. A lot of people are going to be like, that is too much money. Hold on, hold on. It's not Activision that are developing this game. It is a new company. They don't have endless amounts of money. So you kind of have to give them a little bit of doubt, you know, when it comes to this. Because, you know, you can give them the benefit of the doubt because it will be a really good king campaign. You know, they're going for uh, absolute authenticity here. I'm not too sure if they will reach the 1 million uh, mark. I hope they do. Because this looks like a fucking brilliant game. You know, there's a new trailer that came out. It's got a lot of, uh, it looks like pre-rendered stuff. Well, not pre-rendered, but rendered in the game engine. And it looks really nice because they've had a lot more money to work with. So it means that they can have a lot more, you know, just better uh, looking campaign. You can have a better looking fighting. And, you know, the whole game will look a lot better. It's not going to be like Call of Duty, you know, like 1080p stuff. It will look really good though, but... It probably won't look as good as Call of Duty, but I mean, you have to accept that because it's not Activision that are developing this game. After that, there is all the different kinds of money that they raised. They've raised £246,000 already, 
which is fucking amazing. 8,000 people have already pledged their support towards the project. A matter of fact, I'm probably going to donate to this, like, just in a few minutes, so yeah. Um, if you pledge 25 plus pounds, you will get the digital art book, which is pretty cool, to be honest. I mean, I don't really care about it too much, but, you know, it's it's quite cool. I mean, it'll be cool to have a little look through. And I've got all the different stuff, like the limited time only rewards, like, probably like t-shirts and whatnot, which will be really cool to get. So yeah, Battalion 1944, you should donate to this game because it looks fucking amazing and it's going to be one of the first great World War 2 games for the last few years. I mean, for the last few years, FPS games have all been so focused on being as futuristic as possible, you know? Uh, and it's, it's great to see a company go, you know what, we're just going to make a World War 2 game in the style of Call of Duty 2. That's it. So yeah, this game looks heavily influenced by the older games such as Call of Duty 2, uh, the original Medal of Honor games. So yeah, it would just be great to play a classic game again because, you know, Call of Duty is getting a bit boring with the uh, everything super futuristic mod. It's like, it's cool to see FPSs that are slightly different come back. You know, you've got Battalion 1944, which aims to bring it back to World War Two. You've got Doom 4, which is going to be coming out in May, which looks to just bring back the classic uh, feel of Doom, which is fucking awesome. It's just, it's going to be a great year for FPS games, that's to say the least, because, you know, it's, it's so trendy nowadays to just make the most realistic or the most futuristic advanced game possible but I think a lot of developers are missing out the fact that FPS games should all be unique which is what this game's planning on doing which is awesome it's fucking amazing so yeah guys hope you've all enjoyed the video it's been a long career and I'll see you guys in the next one peace